bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much um, just for working on you finding the truth out learning as much as you can and being able to ascend behind all measures so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two um I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the video is being very informative to you and you love the vibes and you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, they're going through really dark times right now. And um, need confirmation or validation towards their life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support it is so greatly appreciated and um i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video so today uh the music that i'm listening to let me turn this down a little bit uh is called miracle starts happen once you change your vibration and change your life and uh my video today is uh let me see i might do that one um once you once you've been in the dark you'll learn to appreciate everything that shines that is so true you know um because you go through many things and it's just like everything you're working for you have to be able to go through hell and high water a few times being able to experience the failures the mistakes the setbacks uh the disappointments um running into brick walls you know like you, you want all these things in your life but you have to be able to go through every experience being able to learn from all the mistakes you've had in your life being able to cleanse your clear your karma not from just this life and and basically from all the lives you don't have because you you know obviously with the situation you're having there's a couple of times you weren't able to do it so you had to do it in this life you know there's a lot of things that has happened in my life that you know it took a while to be able to see see it for what it truly was because it's like everything i was experiencing i wasn't able to see it that way because i was in a negative mind state you know working on myself healing but that took a lot you know it really took a lot and i know it takes a lot for you because you're going through so many different situations and it's just like a lot of y'all have opened yourself up you know allow me to know the things that you have experienced in life which breaks my heart because it's like y'all really went through some hard times and it's like i can't even gain the concept of a lot of things y'all have told me how you're still walking around <laughs> with this situation that you have endured throughout just this life you know and a lot of times when I'm very spiritual spiritually connected to other people and it's just from the words when we talk a lot I tend to see a lot of the other things that they have gone through or universe allows me to be in touch with them on that 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 mental level to be able to see why are they at this point in time right now because it's just like a lot of y'all has experienced a lot of things and it took you a while you know it's no you know it ain't gonna end tomorrow you know it didn't it wasn't gonna take just a couple of days to go through you have to really really go through it you know for you to be able to appreciate things like with me like i tell y'all all the time I, i'm glad that i went through the things i went through you know only sad thing it is is that I, you know, a lot of people that I truly cared about or even wanted the chance to know is no longer here. But, you know, the blessing of it is, is that I had that gift to where I can be able to talk to people on the other side. I hear my grandmother all the time. I hear my grandfather all the time. You know, it sucks because I don't hear my grandparents from my mom's side, but I always hear my grandparents from my dad's side. So it's just like, that's a beautiful blessing to me be able to experience all those things you know i miss my mom that passed away my sister and also my brother you know my dad allowed me to see my little brother and he was just so beautiful you know amir was just like 
he was an angel within an angel. So, you know, those different blessings I can be able to cherish from my heart, being able to deal with all those different things, you know, even though it took a lot, you know, it took a lot out of me, but I can be able to appreciate all those things because it allowed me to see myself for who I am. Let me really, truly see what I was capable of healing from. You know, and that takes a lot of strength to be able to do. So it's just like when you see the things that has went on to your life, well, you see them all the time because a lot of times you're still triggered. And, you know, there's times I'm still triggered, too. I'm not even going to lie about that. But when you have, you know, you have went through things and you had to, when you finally step back and see the bigger picture of why you had to go through what, what you had to go through. Because, you know, I envision a lot of impasse. Like I told y'all a few videos ago, I see a lot of y'all like, in, you know, like when you're a little kid and you have your knees up to your chest and, you know, you're crying. And then I see y'all, you know, like at the Olympics catching that, you know, that award, you know, it's graduation time because it's like you have to be able to, you know, cheer yourself on regardless of who cheered for you or not. That was a big deal for you to overcome. You know, it might not be important to somebody else, but you see it was a big deal for you. You know, a lot of people will tell you, oh, all you got to do is just let this go. If they never experienced something like that, whatever you're going through is hard for somebody until you can easily get over it like that because it's never easy. You know, it's just how much time are you going to invest in a situation for you to be able to see what it was, allow yourself to see what lesson was brought out of that situation, being able to step back away from things that's hindering you. Being able to let go of things that's no longer serving you, you know, and being able to part ways with certain people that are stunting your blessings as well as your growth. So everything is like a learning process, you know, and it's just like you're starting all over again, a brand new person, you know, which you are because you're not no longer looking at things the same. There's a lot of people that I've known from my past. If they would see me right now, they'd be like, well, where's Rosalind? Because this is not the Rosalind I'm used to. You know, did you replace her with something? Because I used to be rah, rah, rah girl. You know, it's like if I'm not fighting, I'm cussing somebody out. If I ain't cussing somebody out, I'm fighting. You know, but now I'm just like, I ain't about to put my energy in on this one. You know, I ain't about to do that. But it's just like, I appreciate my dark times. I appreciate my sad times. I see why I had to go through the things I had to go through. Because it made me who I am. It, you know, allowed me to open my life up to people and tell them, you know, hey, I went through this and this and this and that. You know, it took me a while. I'm steady healing every day. I'm not the same person I was five minutes ago. Well enough alone wasn't yesterday. So you have to really look at the things that you go through to be able to appreciate that time. Because, you know, a lot of us take things for granted. You know, we do. Because when you're expecting it to always be there, you know, and then when it gets snatched away, you know, that's why I be telling people not to tell myself, hey, don't get too cocky. <laughs> don't get too cocky because what is given to you can always be taken away so you got to be very careful you know because it's just like when everything's said and done you have healed you have let go you're seeing things in a different perspective and then you step back and then you think about how far you came you look back that's the only time you should look back is be able to see how far you came you might not be exactly where you need to be right now but you are nowhere near where you first started it's just like so many of y'all i've seen y'all from when y'all first well not seen you but talked to you since you first got into your spiritual awakening until now and y'all have changed drastically you know and i'm so proud of each and every one of y'all because it take a lot to be able to heal being not able to not be mad when uh like if there's somebody that has done some things to you you know my family did everything up under the sun to make me look like I was the most, I was the demon seed, even though I was bad as hell. I had, you know, it was just a life that I was exposed to that made me like that. Even though I can say a lot of my decisions I made on my own, I can't sit up here and blame everything on them because it's some of the choices I made allowed me to be that way. But a lot of the things that I have went through is because how I was treated, how I was raised. So it's just like I work in progress. Like I told my, my kids, it's hard for me to comfort them, you know, because I was never comfort as a child. If I cried, I had to get over it. You know, no matter what was done to me, I had to get over it. And I mean, I never got a chance to grieve anything. This is the first time I actually got a chance to really grieve something. 
So it was a hard concept for me to actually truly go through. So being able to deal with that and it's just like, no, don't hold anger in your heart. Being able to get over it. And I know it could have been like, that really pissed me off. Yeah, allow it to piss you off for like five seconds, but don't stay there. You know, it's not, what, what is this going to do? Nothing. I see what holding on to things did. It makes you stay in the same place you definitely do not want to be. That's like the most painful experience that you can ever go through. Uh, pause for the cause, y'all. I got to take my daughter to work. <laughs> I'm back y'all I'm sorry but yeah it was just really hard for me to be able to nurture my children if you know because I've never been able to feel you know comfort you know at all unless it was just like I would do it for myself so it's just like everything that I'm working towards everything I can sit up here and say the things that I took for granted you know you never know a good thing until you until it's gone out your life so it's just like I'm very grateful for everything that has been removed everything that you know i parted ways from as well as been added to my life and care so it's just like when you go through different things and so many different changes and then finally when you're able to get that peace of mind you're loving yourself in so many different levels in so many different directions having that self-love that self-respect you know learning along the way you know that's the bonus that's you know th those are the reason why we have to go through the trying times you know being like i said before going through those spiritual awakenings is like there's so many things so there's so many gifts that you have in store you know you knew about these where you were all up wherever we were you know you knew everything that that was like you were the you know the billy badass back then but then they placed you in a life and they wiped your memory you know, you weren't supposed to remember anything because then you wouldn't have known the lessons that you need to learn in this situation. So, you know, you're allowing yourself the things that went dormant for you to be able to embrace, you know, uh, learn more about, educate yourself as you're doing with others, you know, and being able to help people go, you know, and look at your situation and, you know, they'll look at their life and say, wow, you know, this person has did this and this and that, you know, but also went through this and this and that. You know, so I can be able to do the same thing. So, you know, when you're going through your experience and when you can be able to look back, you know, at all the downfalls and, you know, when God finally embrace, embraces you with that blessing of success, you know, you wouldn't have truly knew the bigger picture until you had to go through those hard times. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I said this is gonna go ahead and be my last one I thought I was gonna put two more out but you know my, my vibes are like Woo. now now I gotta sit up here and just chill out for a minute because I've been doing this since like seven something this morning so I had about eight or nine videos out but I will talk to you on my next video I hope that you are able to resonate with the content of my video you know uh, drop me a line and let me know if you resonate it would truly be appreciated give me you know a thumbs up share you know, like and subscribe hit that notification bell if you haven't done it already and you know drop me a line so I can be able to give you a shout out on my next video my uh, shout out today is lost puppy and Gabriel much love to you as well as Katie uh, straight and um, I hope every has a, everybody has a blessed day a successful week and keep working on you because better days are coming now, I'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild